Welcome to another series I am affectionately naming Fireside Chats. Not to be confused with the fireside chats given by former President Franklin Delano Roosevelt, the worst Roosevelt president, but then again, how can you compete with Teddy? Unlike him, I will not be violating the civil rights of Japanese Americans or expanding the power of the federal government. I will instead be addressing the state of the war, incoming updates, or any general questions or concerns I feel need further elaboration. That being said, come the end of the video, feel free to ask any questions of your own, as I may end up answering them in depth in the future. First order of business, I would like to address growing sympathy for the enemy, sprawling out its roots and infecting the minds of Super Earth's impressionable youth. They do not need to be told it's treason. Once pity develops for the Clankers, the only thing able to change the minds of those unpatriotic individuals are cold, hard facts. You are to remind them of the situation we currently find ourselves ensnared within. The automatons have sown chaos and destruction across our galaxy, with callous disregard to the well-being of mankind. Regardless of how we found ourselves in this fight, they must understand we are now within the midst of it. Should we fail, humanity as we know it will cease to exist. This is not a fight for personal gain or reward. It is a knockdown, drag out brawl, the stakes of which are the survival of one species and the eradication of another. We are no longer afforded philosophical perspectives towards these machines or any false emotions they may be purported to have. They would kill you and I without hesitation. They have done it before and will again should they get the chance. That is a consequence we cannot abide. Second order of business. I would like to make a note that we must stay on guard for incoming dangers. The automatons have never been the kind of foe to go quietly into the night. Having liberated both Maya, Tibet, and then Durgan, thus forcing the automaton menace into remission, we must be wary of our enemy's eerie silence. We mustn't let the pathetic Terminids draw our watchful eye from protecting all that is good in our universe. I feel danger looming upon the horizon ready to prey upon those of us who commit the fatal mistake of underestimating our opponent. There's also something else that seems to be dredging itself up from times long since past, and it causes me great unease and concern for the future of Super-Earth. There have been tales of an enemy from before my time returning to haunt the battlefield. We must stay vigilant. Our very existence depends upon it. Fortunately, I know a great deal of you are maintaining a heightened degree of preparedness and focus solely dedicated to our humanoid imitating adversaries. I look forward to seeing you brave souls in action soon. Third order of business. I would like to request something of our expert research and development team. Please stroll down the avenue of recoil dampening in regards to our new heavy machine gun. I would love to get more use out of it as it does pack quite a punch, but every time I fire I then have to repeatedly slam my shoulder into a rock in order to relocate it. I also find that after prolonged periods of firing, my teeth on the shoulder in which I was firing the weapon with become loose in my gums. I would also like to take a moment to commend them on their work with the Quasar Cannon. It was invaluable for some while relinquishing the Automaton's control over Maya. If it's not too much to ask for a second request, I would humbly ask we take a peek into asbestos-lined suits. After extensive personal research, I have come to a conclusion. Despite the well-documented risk of super mesothelioma, it is a preferable alternative to incineration upon contact with a spark. I'm sure many a diver will attest, after the Liberation Day anniversary in Super Las Vegas, we all learned to hate burning sensations. I understand that budget cuts have had their drawbacks, but I will personally begin a petition to reallocate funds from the salary of Super Earth's politicians 
over to your development team. You are Super Earth's finest scientists. I believe you have the knowledge to make this possible, so long as you receive the funding. Fourth order of business. On the topic of equipment, we are being presented with new supplies in our war bond. Super Earth's best and brightest have come through once again, this time in an explosive manner. Two state-of-the-art rifles, a devastating crossbow, thermite grenades, a grenade pistol, three new armor sets from light to heavy, and a booster allowing you to call in extraction faster will be available to you. We've also been granted a new array of promotional titles, but I'll let you figure them out yourself as you move up the ranks. After all, I wouldn't want to ruin the surprise. I'm not going to lie, I... I was not incredibly fond of the last releases due to a mild distaste for electrocution. I am, however, waiting with bated breath to get my hands on this vast array of bone-rattling explosives. They do leave me curious as to what the future has in store, as they seem they would be more effective at, ironically, devastating the Devastators. I am no clairvoyant, but after this it's readily apparent. The future of Super-Earth is a bright one. Fifth order of business. Countless hours of infield research and personal testimony have brought details regarding patrols to light. The frequency of enemy patrols are increased the further away from your teammates you get. Patrols are also increased upon completing your main objective. We aren't exactly sure how they know, but what we are aware of is you must be attentive at all times on the battlefield, particularly when traveling alone. Should you be breaking off from your squad to regroup later, it is imperative that you be capable of holding your own against a swarm of enemies. Once again, our aptly named roamers must be able to hold their own in every possible circumstance. Remember, we do not prepare for the best case scenario. We prepare for the worst case scenario, and everything that isn't is a blessing. That is all we have on today's agenda. In the future, these will likely be more extensive. I will also try to schedule them in concurrence with any incoming changes that may sweep the battlefield or intermittently if I have not done one in a while to keep up morale. Thank you for tuning into this fireside chat. Once again, it is April 8th. I appreciate you giving me some of your time, and I look forward to seeing you out on the battlefield. Stay safe out there, and have a good night.